What if you could build a full presentation in under five minutes with zero design skills? Let me show you how I did this using Microsoft 365 Copilot in PowerPoint. Hey everyone, welcome to the Microsoft 365 Copilot Connection. My name is Nick Harris and I am a senior Copilot Cloud Solution Architect with Microsoft. Today we are demystifying Copilot in PowerPoint. You'll see how to create a presentation from scratch, enhance your slides, automate design tasks, and even some pro writing tips for prompts. All of this aimed at saving you time. And whether you're a new user or someone who's had access to Microsoft 365 Copilot for some time, I would truly like to know what is your current experience with Microsoft 365 Copilot and Copilot in PowerPoint? Let me know in the comments section below. Now, as you see here on the screen, I'm starting directly from a blank PowerPoint presentation. This is directly in my web browser experience with PowerPoint Online. However, the same Copilot experiences I show today are also available in the PowerPoint desktop application experience as well for your main enterprise use. General note for this particular experience, it will require a Microsoft 365 Copilot license. Your organization administrators must make this license available to you so that you have Copilot directly injected into your PowerPoint experience. Now I have the license available to me and the functionality is available as well. I can see that in a few key areas. First and foremost, when you start from a blank presentation, right above your slide canvas, you have this little star icon. And if you click on this particular icon, you can open up the built-in Copilot options that are available to you, whether you're wanting to create a presentation with a prompt or from a file, or you wanna add a slide, or even ask questions about existing content in existing slide decks that you've opened. You can open up all of those experiences from here. We also have Copilot directly built into the ribbon bar experience. So up in the top right hand corner, I can click on Copilot and I can directly open up the main chat experience. This allows me to invoke those same actions for presentation creation or adding a slide or asking questions about my particular slide deck and its content. I can also perform additional actions such as translating slides, adding speaker notes, researching information across my organization or across the public facing web in order to stay within my PowerPoint experience and within my flow of work so I'm not switching between windows and I'm able to get my work done faster. I would also highly recommend that any PowerPoint presentation you work with be automatically stored in a SharePoint or a OneDrive site for quick and easy storage as well as to ensure all Copilot and PowerPoint functionality is available to you. Now let's get into the fun part. Let's create a presentation directly from scratch with a very simple prompt that we can use. I'm going to click on this particular icon up here above my slide canvas, and I'm going to click on the create a presentation option. This allows me to directly via my natural language indicate to Copilot what I want to generate. So in here, I'm going to paste my prompt. I want to create a presentation for a tech startup called Infotech that outlines our product and business model to impress potential investors and secure funding. Also another new functionality that we just rolled out to this PowerPoint experience is the ability to automatically select the design that you want Copilot to adhere to. This is really useful when it comes to adhering your organization's design directly within your PowerPoint presentation. I can click on change design. I do have a presentation template directly from my Microsoft organization templates. I can select that brand template, select design, and directly create the outline of my presentation. This is using something called the narrative builder experience. This will automatically generate the overall narrative or first draft for our presentation. We can then review the topics of material that are directly provided to us. We can mix and match these. We can move them around into different orders. Once I have reviewed this overall outline, 
I can then say, yes, I'm good to go, or maybe I need to add additional topics as well. I can, via prompt mechanisms or referencing work files, add additional topics of materials. But in this case, let's just generate our slides. Now, once I click on the Generate Slides button, Copilot is automatically building my presentation for me, adhering to my organization brand. It's creating the structure. It's creating the slide content. It's adding speaker notes and information for me to align to. Relevant contextual imagery aligned to the slide content as well, getting me a first draft presentation started much more quickly so that way I can focus on the real work at hand and get this presentation out to my colleagues or my leadership in a quicker time frame. Now we have our presentation. It looks like it's generated around a 23 slide presentation for us. We do an initial review of the presentation content. Once we review that content, we can elect to keep it and then directly go into our slides. There are some key features directly built into your slide experience that you can use for Copilot as well. As you see here, I have a slide with text on it, and that particular text I have selected, and I can automatically rewrite or modify that text with Copilot built in. I can click on this little rewrite pencil icon here at the bottom. And with that option, I can auto rewrite the text. I can make it more condensed if it's too long. I can make the tone overall sound professional. I can visualize it in a different form if maybe it wasn't a list format before. A few options at my disposal. I'll go ahead and make it professional. And now we have modified text that we can read and review. Another key pointer in relation to rewriting text that I like to use is if those options don't work for me, I like to copy this text out and have the sidebar experience modify it for me. So in this case, I've opened up the sidebar experience, I've copied the text directly from my slide, and we're going to prompt. So at the very top, you can see my prompt. Update the following text to be more persuasive and detailed. Each individual section should be a maximum of 40 words. I've then pasted my particular text selection into my prompting box in double quotes to indicate to Copilot this is what I want you to modify based on these instructions. You then see in the output, Copilot has given me those key write-ups, but now with modified language. I can then directly copy that information out and paste it directly back on my slide. Now, maybe for example, as I'm creating this sales pitch presentation, I want to perform research on the public web to identify what competitors to Infotech might be leveraging for their own pricing strategies. I can prompt directly in Copilot instead of going to the public web and have Copilot feed me that form of information. Infotech is an AI startup company. Research on the public web current pricing strategies that are used and compare them to Infotech's as mentioned on this slide. Now this is fantastic research information provided back. As you can see what Copilot has done, it's pulled the direct information from my slides and indicated from your document. It's then included Infotech's pricing strategies. And then it's pulled from the public web, current pricing strategies for AI startup companies. And it's indicated in a very simple and easy to understand way what those current pricing strategies are. Finally, it's performed a comparison. And this gives me indication of any form of pricing strategy changes that I might want to make or talk to Infotech about to ensure that they're aligned and have the latest information available to them. Now I'm reviewing my slide further and I don't really like the image that's included on my slide. So I can prompt Copilot to modify the imagery and the overall brand of the slide itself. So in this case, I very simply prompted add an image that represents technology and revenue growth. And I can review these particular images. Now these images are pulled directly from the Microsoft 365 content library that's automatically available within our Office app experiences. I can select from these images, say for example, I like this one, I can click on insert, and it will automatically insert that image on my slide for me. Now with some slight modifications and leveraging Microsoft Designer experiences built into Microsoft PowerPoint, I've inserted the image and modified the overall slide design in order to brand my slide in the way that I require. 
Now, what's also really amazing is if you can't find an image that aligns to your particular expectations within PowerPoint and the content library, you can create your own AI images directly in this experience as well. So very simply, I've told Copilot to create an image representing artificial intelligence and company revenue growth in a simple format. Copilot then created its own images for me. And I can leverage these images in my slide as well, just like I could the content image library images. Another option available is the ability to inject slides into already existing presentations. So I'll click on the add a slide option and via the prompting box here, I'll add my slide prompt. Generate a slide titled AI startups business models. Include a high level overview of typical models like software as a service, licensing, premium, funding stages, and strategic goals like scalability and data leverage. And I'll go ahead and submit that off. Just like the narrative builder experience, I can see this slide being built in real time. It should include direct information aligned to my prompt that I can then leverage and modify via the automated and built-in features, or even manually if I so choose. And there we go. Now finally, moving into the sidebar a bit further, let's talk to a few of the key prompts here. I highly recommend for all of you to leverage the Copilot Prompt Gallery. The Copilot Prompt Gallery is directly available via the View Prompts option. This allows you to see contextually aligned prompts to PowerPoint experiences. So some great prompts here, for example, the ability to translate presentations, the ability to add speaker notes to this slide or to all slides within my presentation, or ask core questions like, what is the tone? Or suggest stock images? Or at what point in this presentation is there a mention of maybe some form of topic? I can ask the targeted questions that I require to get the information that I need faster. So first and foremost, let's just add some speaker notes directly to this slide. We'll submit that prompt off. And it already did have some speaker notes, but let's see what it regenerates for me here. And there we go. We now have a more filled out speaker notes section with content ger generated by Copilot aligned to the content on the slide that I'm working in. Another prompt that I ran in order to be a bit more specific, summarize this presentation providing me information on this organization's selling strategy, pricing models, and market differentiation. Those are key topics that I'm interested in, so I can fill that information in, my personal context, in order to gather the data that I require and review that information via the Copilot sidebar experience. Gone are the days where you have to select and click through all kinds of slides, especially if it's a presentation that could be hundreds of slides in length. You can find that data in detail much more quickly by talking with Copilot in the sidebar. So in review, Copilot can save you a ton of time and create tremendous value within your work. Instead of spending hours on generating and designing your slides, let the AI handle that process for you. But always keep in mind that at the end of the day, you are the owner of all of this content, so you must review the output and you must ensure data accuracy within all presentations you create that are AI driven. As we continue forward, we will have additional videos in the future on the various app experiences in Microsoft 365 that are Copilot enabled, and we want to ensure you have all the tools available to enhance your overall work. I highly recommend if you want to learn more about what we already have available, check out the playlists that we have on this channel. We have playlists on current licensed functionality, free functionality, and Copilot agents. If I've been able to save you even a few minutes with this information, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, share with your colleagues, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. All of your support is always appreciated. Thank you all so much for your time. I very much appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.